This is a toy spot on the Marvel Legends Apocalypse series Wolverine. This Wolverine comes to us from the Astonishing X-Men line of uh, comics and features the updated version of the classic yellow and blue costume. Um, it was a very nice update and stands out to this day as one of my favorite Wolverine costumes. This and both the, the brown, brown costume. As you can see, collect all six Apocalypse series figures and build your own giant apocalypse. Very nice, very nice build a figure. On the back of the package, the other figures in this wave, we have the Maestro Hulk, we have Sasquatch, we have X-23, Iron Fist, Wolverine, and Bishop. Um, as you can see, there's variants of... The strange thing is, is there's variants of, of the majority of the characters. Um, the Iron Fist has a red variant, the Bishop has a bald variant, or more modern uh, variant of the figure. Wolverine is un unmasked, but they they don't put the uh, the repaint Sasquatch or the X-23 as variants. Not really sure why. Uh, build your own giant 14 inch apocalypse. 14 inches, that's, that's a huge figure. Um, read up on Wolverine says little is known about the man known as Wolf, as Logan, whose past remains shrouded in mystery. The feral warrior codenamed Wolverine possesses genetically endowed animal keen senses of smell, sight, and hearing, as well as a mutant healing factor that can mend almost any wound. His deadliest weapons are his razor sharp extendable claws and skeleton both made of unbreakable metal alloy called adamantium. However, with these abilities come a curse, a berserker rage that he must forever struggle to control. Now Logan must contain the beast raging within while he battles to protect the world that fears and hates him. And that, is, that in a nutshell, is Wolverine. Brought to us, of course, by the good folks at Toy Biz. And there we have packaging on Wolverine. Uh, this was one of the figures that was featured in my Viewer's Choice video pick. I believe it was Wolverine Havoc, it was Abomination, and it was Juggernaut. Uh, Juggernaut ultimately made the cut, and he was my viewer's choice. Um, as I mentioned, and as I promised, I was going to go back and do the reviews of the other figures. Um, while it has taken me a little longer to go back and do them, uh, let's get Wolverine out of package now, and we'll get a better look at the figure. So stay tuned, guys. Don't go anywhere. This Wolverine comes with the leg the leg of Apocalypse. Uh, very very nicely detailed, loads of articulation. Um, I certainly won't do a review of just the leg, because that would be insane. But when I eventually get Apocalypse all put together, I'll do a review of him then. As you can see as well, Wolverine goes just a little higher than Apocalypse's knee. So quite a, quite a substantially large leg. Now we'll move the leg out of the way. Uh, the other thing that Wolverine comes with, and I don't think I ever really do these for the reviews, is Wolverine comes with Astonishing X-Men, number six. Um, when you take the comic off, actually, it'll give you, it'll show you the breakdown of the character. So as you can see, it contains all six pieces of Apocalypse. Shows you how to assemble it, just in case you didn't know how to put a peg into a hole. It's smart, though. It's smart, because, you know, you wouldn't want to peg the arm into his forehead. Uh, at any rate though, we've got Wolverine out of the package and we'll get a better look at the figure now. Right off the bat I can tell you the one thing I do like about the figure is the scale. It's a, uh, it, it is a small figure. It is a small figure and probably in this video you, it's hard to gauge how small this figure is. What I'll do is I'll bring in the Wolverine from the Hasbro Red Hulk line and while this Wolverine was smaller than the original yellow costumed Wolverine, as you can see, he is still a little bit taller than the Astonishing X-Men Wolverine. So scale-wise, it's nice to have a, a shorter Wolverine. 
especially if you've got him with the other members of the X-Men, or if you've got him battling Hulk. Looks a little more accurate. Um, for all the things I like about this figure, the one thing I actually don't like is his face. Um, I don't like the grimace that's on his face. It, I would have almost preferred it if, if his mouth was just shut. It, I mean, it certainly looks like he's in battle, but if you have him just on his own, I don't know. I'm, I'm just the type I prefer to have the mouth shut. That's really the one issue I have with the figure. Everything else about it, I really like. The paint is nice. They've actually applied a metallic blue to the shoulder pads, to the shoulder pads of Wolverine here. And as you can see, they've got the the blue, the blue halves to his costume, and then the yellow. They've got the yellow markings throughout it. Uh, again, it's an update to the original Wolverine costume, the blue and the yellow. And I think it's it's a very nice upgrade. And while I do like the paint in some areas of the figure, areas such as the legs, as you can see, uh, there has been some paint wear. And I'm not sure as this figure gets moved and posed in different places whether this paint's going to continue to come off. I'm hoping it won't. The other figure problem I had with this toy uh, was the uh, with was the shoulders themselves. I found when I took the shoulder when I took the figure out of the package and I went to move the arms, uh, this shoulder would not move at all, and it actually took me a little finessing. I kind of had to wiggle it back and forth to finally get it together. Certainly, for a figure this size, uh, much much more frailer uh, parts to the to the figure, and guaranteed this arm was going to come right off. So again, I just had to just had to finagle it back and forth until it finally wanted to give. Um, but speaking of arms, I like the tan. They've applied like a tan wash to the paint. And I like the little hairs, little arm hairs that they've got on Wolverine there. I mean, it's not super hairy, which is good. But, you know, it's, they've still thrown that in there. Um, as well, speaking of paint washes, they've done a darker paint wash within the, the muscle areas of the costume. Uh, also in the top area and also in the the mask they've put that little darker wash in, when in with the yellow and it definitely does work well with this figure uh, again being that this is a Wolverine figure as you can see right off the bat the one problem that he does have is with his claws you kinda have to kinda have to spread them out and get them separated from one another uh, certainly the quick fix is you can always heat these and separate them out and then uh, and then just let them cool. I'm thinking though if you just kind of keep working the claws they probably will straighten themselves out on their own. As you can see this one is kind of already there. Just have to keep kind of fiddling around with it. Um, certainly it's not as bad as some of the original Wolverine figures where the claws were just a, a mangled mess. Um, now, in the way of his articulation, he has the articulated head. You can, as you can see, you can bend it up and down, um, left to right. Uh, the sh mentioned shoulder area, which I still kind of have problems with, you can bend in and out. Um, again, my shoulder is really stiff, really stiff. So I might just hold off showing you the articulation for the shoulder in this video. But you can rotate the bicep. Um, he has two points of articulation in the elbows, as you can see there. Uh, you can rotate the wrist. You can bend the fingers. You can bend the fingers. Very stiff on a, a lot of things. Stiff on this figure. You can bend the fingers. Um, the mid torso joint is there. Now mine's a little loose though, and mine's really loose in the waist. Um, he has the ball jointed legs. You can move back and forth. You can rotate the thigh. Now this one's stiff again on the, on the figure. Seems really on this one side the figure wants to uh, give me a hard time. Um, but there's two points of articulation in the knee. You can swivel the feet back and forth. You can also bend the foot and you can also bend the toe.
Now, what I would rate this figure, I would probably give this figure a 6. Um, the only thing that I really would change about the figure, and while the camera probably... I don't think the camera's doing that bad of a job on it, but I think up close, I really don't like the mouth on it. I really don't. If the mouth was closed, or if it was just a different expression on his face, I probably would like the figure a little bit more. But... Still like the figure though, it's definitely a nice figure. I love the scale. I love the fact it is a smaller sized scale. Um, so that wraps up a toy spot on the Marvel Legends Apocalypse series. This was the Astonishing Wolverine, Astonishing X-Men Wolverine costume, Wolverine. And hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more Marvel Legends videos on the way. And I'll see you guys for another spot later.